So you should know that I started filming this video. <laughs> then I realized that the back of my phone, like the camera was very blurry because it was dirty. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. But hi, welcome to my whip and chat. This is the third time I'm trying to film this whip and chat. So I don't know how long it's going to be, but we'll see. Uh, today, I guess I should introduce what I'm working on. I am working on Mod Lemoyne from, or, or sorry, it's the artist is Mod Lemoyne. The painting is Kitsune Legend Japanese. I probably butchered that. It is 70 by 46, and I'm currently on her hand area here. And I have no idea why this section is so small. Usually I work in really huge sections, but this diamond painting, I was like, I'm going to split it into three columns. And I don't know why I did that, but this is the smallest column. And um, I think next, like the next row that I do, because I work from the bottom up, the next row that I do, I'm going to split the, the canvas in half or something because this is not, this is not, like it it takes longer if you if you don't do larger sections from my point of view i think it takes longer at least for me it takes longer also let me know if you guys want a video on how to diamond paint faster i am i think i'm a pretty fast diamond painter cuz i i use a lot of multi placers and um like recently i lost my diamond painting mojo as some would call it but i think i got it back so let me know if you do want a video on how to diamond paint faster. Literally though, I like compared to other people or other creators at least, I do not have children. I have zero children. I don't have a partner that I have to spend time with. I, I'm just me by myself over here living my life. So I also have more time than other people have to dedicate to diamond painting. So that could also be why I diamond paint so fast because I have all the time in the world. Um, so that could just be the video. The video will be how to diamond paint faster. It'll be one minute of me just saying don't have a life. Don't have anyone to rely on you and just diamond paint your life away. And that that will be the video. No, but seriously, I can do a video on how to diamond paint faster if you want. I know uh, I think someone some people have already done one, but I would like to share my ideas. So I don't know if that's of interest to you. Comment down below. And let me know. How has your week been? Also, let me know. Um. My week has been pretty uneventful. Oh, I left the house once this week so far. And I went to Michael's, the craft store, not a man named Michael's house. But in Canada, and I think America, we have a craft store called Michael's. So I went to Michael's, the craft store. They are having a big sale. It was like, things are up to 60% off, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go and see if they have any like bead stuff or just like general craft stuff that I want slash not need. And so I went, I ended up standing in the storage aisle. Like, you know, they have those carts. They have like these storage carts for crafty people and like drawers and all these things. And I was like, should I get one of these? So I was like, I was I still like, I think I might go back and get one, but I stood in that aisle for 10 minutes sending pictures to a group chat that I'm part of and was like, should I get this? And people were like, get it if you need it. And then I was like, well, I don't know which one to get. Like there's this drawer system that has big drawers, like thicker drawers so you can store taller things. And then there's a skinny drawer system. If you've been to Michael's, you've probably seen them. They come in like rainbow drawers, but they also come in um, like just plain white drawers. I wish they had black because literally I don't want a rainbow one and I don't want a white one because I have two black cats and their hair I think is just going to get like magnetized to it. But yeah, so I stood in that aisle for a very long time, like a loser, a lost child pretty much. Um, and I did not get one. I walked out and was like, screw this. I can't decide what I want. I'm going to think about it more. And, um, I ended up going to the dollar store in Canada. We have a store called Dollarama. I know I've talked about it before, but it's in a really, it's really an amazing dollar store. Like, okay, granted it's not, everything is not a dollar there. Like it's kind of annoying. Like change your name from Dollarama to something else, please. Like dollars Rama. Um, but I ended up going there and getting the storage containers. Like, um, I don't have one by me that's empty that I can easily show you. But they're just like storage baskets. And they're really cute. They're dark gray. I was very happy with them. And I was like, I'm just going to use these storage baskets. And oh, there's like giant cat hair. Okay, I'll just leave it. Diamond paint over it. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to get one of these giant, these like giant drawer things and put them on my shelf. 
our storage container things, put them on my shelf and not worry about buying like a new thing, a new piece of furniture shelving unit thing. So I did that. And then yesterday, that was on, what day was that? I don't know, Wednesday? Yeah, so then today's Friday for me um, and for you. But so I was like, okay, yesterday I tried to like organize my, it's mostly for organizing my beads. Sorry, I'm like all over the place all the time. But it's mostly for organizing my beads. So I was like, okay, like I'm going to try and organize my beads using these storage things. Um, and this is just for loose beads. Like I have drawer systems. I have like one, four, eight, nine, I have 12 little drawer systems of and each drawer system has nine little drawers so um yeah anyways so I just need like a big bin type box thing to put in the other beads that I don't put in the drawers because the bags are too big for them so I was like I'm gonna try and do that and then I realized that hey I actually need this shelf for other things besides beads like other craft stuff and I First of all, I think I have too much stuff. Do you guys, are you guys like me? Like I'm not a hoarder, but I have, I think most craft people just collect stuff because they're like, I can use this in crafts later on. And that's, that's how I am. I have so much stuff. I have so many craft things that I, I really should get rid of, but uh, I'm kind of lazy if you didn't notice. So, and I don't like doing extra work. Um, but yeah, so this, needless to say, the storage system thing did not work out. So I am going to go to Michael's either today or tomorrow, probably today, because I should leave the house. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to go to Michael's and pick up one of those drawer units, and I know which one that I want. So that'll be, that'll be what I do today, I think, uh, depending when the, I finish uploading this video and editing it, whatever. And I should have brought my water over here, but I didn't. Um, most of this week has been spent uh, like scheduling things for clients, talking to clients, because next week I am in Vancouver for most of the week. I'm speaking at a conference in Vancouver, a social media conference. I'm speaking at a social media conference about LinkedIn marketing, and I will be gone from Wednesday to Saturday. So that is like a big chunk of the week. So I've just been like talking to clients, seeing if they need anything, scheduling content for their social media to make sure that like content does go out even when I'm gone. And it's just, um, most of my clients like don't even care. They're just like, okay, I don't care that you're gone literally. But some clients are like, Oh my God, I can't believe you're leaving for like that long and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but like you do realize I have a freaking laptop, right? And like Wi-Fi is everywhere. So um, it's not like I can't work from there. I just don't want to. So I don't, I don't know. People are treating it like, like you can't take a vacation time. You can't take vacation time. And I'm like, bitch, I can take vacation time. Um, but yeah, so I've just been like dealing with that this week, trying to get a hold of my life, um, as usual. And what else? I had a therapy session this week. It was a really good therapy session where we talked about, uh, relationship types and I don't remember what kind of relationship type I am I should probably write it down but like I can't be bothered because I'm like bitch she takes notes she can just write down what kind of relationship type I am um but when she she told me what kind of relationship type I am I'm like that makes so much sense it makes so much sense Eureka and like I highly recommend like if you are ever thinking about going to therapy, I would highly recommend checking out therapy because um, some people are like, therapy doesn't work for me, but it's mostly like probably because you don't, you haven't found the right therapist yet. So that can be the annoying part, but I'm really lucky that I found my therapist right away. Um, but yeah, so we had also tell me, tell me why they say that the session is going to be 60 minutes. On the receipt, it says it's a 60-minute session, but then in actuality, it's a 50-minute session. Why am I spending, why am I paying money for a 50-minute session that I assumed would be a 60-minute session? But I don't care. Like, for me, for my clients, I some I do hourly consulting and training, and I try, if there's 10 minutes left I'll, and we're done the training so far, I'll just be like, how about we use the last 10 minutes, um, you contact me in the future. We can review what you've done so far with those last 10 minutes and um, I can give you feedback, blah, blah, blah. And so 
Like I want to make sure that they're getting the most out of the money because out of their money cuz I I legit charge more than a therapist. But then I was like I should be a fucking psychologist because they make like they don't have to take notes. They don't have to like do anything really. Like they just go to school and then they like say stuff from a book. Um okay, I'm sure it's more complicated than that. If you're a therapist, don't don't come at me, bro. Don't at me. Um <laughs> But yeah, I was like, why aren't I a therapist? Like, literally, it seems like fun. You get to listen to people's problems. Also kind of annoying. I Yeah, I'll admit that it's probably really annoying and, like, draining because you have to listen to people's problems that you don't even know or care about. Um, but yeah, so anyways, that, that will be my new, my new career. Actually, my new career. I was on TikTok last night before bed, and I was just scrolling, 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 and there was this dude who's like, why you should hire me to be your, your online boyfriend? And I was like, excuse me, I need an online boyfriend. So I was like looking at it, looking at his TikTok, and then he was like, Patreon link in the description, in my descript in my bio. So I like went to his Patreon. You can pay this dude $60, there's, okay, there's cheaper tiers, but you can pay this dude $63 Canadian a month so that you can game with him for an hour a month and he can like carry you through levels but also you can have private chats with him and like text with him and stuff and I was like okay how about I just find an online boyfriend for free but also like is that genius should I be an online girlfriend I feel like I'd be an okay online girlfriend since I'm always online but like I don't have, like, I can't carry anyone through any video games. I play World War Z and Back for Blood and Seven Days to Die and that's, and Prison Architect, but those are the only games I really play. So I, like, I can't offer to carry a dude through a game. Also, I feel like a dude wouldn't want to be carried through a game because it would hurt his ego, but um, what can I offer for $60 a month? I'm not doing OnlyFans. Don't tell me to do OnlyFans because nobody needs to see that. I look be much better clothed than naked, so that is not an option. Um, but yeah, I was like, this is fucking genius. And I wonder, like, it didn't say how many patrons he has, um, but, like, I wonder how many clients he has. And, like, can does he make a living being an online boyfriend? It's just literally, like, in Japan, you can actually rent a boyfriend. And I was like, this is just, like bringing that world online and it's so genius and how can I capitalize on this <laughs> how can I capitalize on the online relationship market so yeah but also I'm like I can find my own online boyfriend for free I'm pretty sure uh where I don't have to pay him like pretty sure it, it'll be fine but yeah I was like maybe I should have an online boyfriend though because like, sometimes it's lonely, but also I don't want pictures of his dong. Like, you can pay this dude, and he'll send you pictures of his dong, and I'm like, I don't want pictures of your dong, but I'll be your online girlfriend, but for free. <laughs> so, yeah, that that is my new career. I thought it was going to be a therapist till I saw that TikTok yesterday, so now I'm just going to be an online girlfriend. If you want to buy me, you can, you can do that. Um, I'll set up a new patreon just kidding i'm not gonna do it maybe but i won't tell you if i do anyways that's enough about that um what else have i been doing this week literally nothing literally nothing working diamond painting making bead stuff i'm really into beads right now guys if you couldn't tell like there was a point where i, I enjoyed doing beads more than diamond painting and i still think like i like them equally as a craft um, like diamond painting doesn't require a lot of thought, but like learning how to make freaking amazing keychains and like car hangers and stuff is just so much fun. And like, it's just nice. Like you can actually see the thing come to life. And yeah, so I'm, I realized that I didn't update my shop very much this month. Um, but there's still some goodies in there and I still got a bunch of orders. Um, but I need to update my shop more and there are, I do need to make new cover minders because all the cover minders sold out. Thank you very much. One person bought like five cover minders. I don't know if if you watch my videos, but like, thank you. That was really nice. <laughs> That's amazing that you you bought all the remaining cover minders. I love you. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, so I do need to make more cover minders. I have 
like, if you guys could see my cover minder making desk, I have so many characters and like cartoons and stuff and cute stuff to make cover minders with. It's just all sitting there because I need to go out and buy icing bags. Um, so the glue I use is like decadent glue. It's like Japanese, it's a Japanese craft or whatever. Um, I need to find that glue for, I need to find the icing packages for that glue so I can actually use the new glue that I bought. So maybe if I go out today, I'll do that. I don't know. I was at Michael's and I was like, frick, I don't want to spend. Okay, so Michael's is good. Michael's is a great store, but I think we all know that it's overpriced for certain things. For most things, it's it's overpriced. And really, I only shop at Michael's when they have a sale or if I can use a coupon on something because a lot of their stuff, it's like you can go online and buy it for so much cheaper. You can go to a different store, like a, a non-craft store and buy things for so much cheaper. Even Dollarama, like the dollar store has amazing craft stuff that you can find at Michael's, but it's literally like so cheap for that stuff. Um, this doesn't belong here. And there's like a very, there's two long hairs in my canvas. This is the thing with having cats. I don't care if they get hair on the edge of my canvas, but when it's actually in the actual drill field, it's annoying. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's already like, what time is it? It's already 2.30. I need to eat something, but I was like procrastinating because I didn't know what to order or like, I don't know if I'm going out or not. And like yesterday in Jade's Live, I was sitting there looking at, I think Jade stream for like, I don't know, two hours or something, maybe even more. But the whole time, like for the majority of her live, I was sitting there looking at the delivery app. Um, it's similar to Uber Eats, um, but I don't think they have skipped the dishes if you're in America. But yeah, so I was like spending the whole time freaking looking at the delivery app, trying to figure out what to eat. And Every minute that went by, I could feel my stomach rumbling. I could feel my, you know, when you get hangry and you just turn into a bee face, I could feel myself turning into a bee face because I was so hungry. And I was like, I don't know what to eat. I need to figure this out. And then Jade was like, get a burrito. And I was like, but, and like for me, when I order food, I look at how much delivery is because like, yes, I could, yeah, I shouldn't complain about delivery because seriously, I'm just too lazy and I don't want to go out and buy and I don't want to go out and like do pickup or anything. So like delivery should be worth it to me, but it's not like, I'm just like a cheap girl. I don't want to spend $5 on delivery when other places have free delivery. So she was like, just get Mucho Burrito, which is like this burrito place in Canada. They're probably not legit Mexican food. It's probably like westernized westernized uh mexican food but like whatever she's like just get burritos and i was like but ship but shipping uh, but delivery is freaking five dollars she's like just get it so i'm like okay thank you like i need someone to tell me like just get it so i got a burrito it took half an hour and in that half an hour i was literally dying i was gonna eat my arm i was like someone told me to put seasoning on my arm because i wrote in the chat that i was gonna eat my arm and someone was like make sure you season it i think patty said that um but yeah so finally my food came. I tried this stuff, like this cheese queso blanco. I don't, don't yell at me if I said that wrong. Like I butchered it. Queso, queso blanco. Um, and it was good, but like it, I got it with tortilla chips as like a side snack thing. And I was trying the queso and I was like, this isn't like very good just with tortilla chips. Like I feel like there needs to be something else. And then Jade was like, put the queso on your burrito and I was like oh my god so I put some of the queso on my burrito and I was like why didn't I do this earlier when I was eating the actual burrito uh but it was really good it was good and then later I still had some queso and you guys might think this is gross because it's literally cold cheese melted cheese I had cold queso with my tortilla chips like at midnight or something like that so that I actually really liked it cold a lot of food I like like after it's been sitting for a while like even pasta I like pasta after you microwave it I don't like fresh pasta and like don't get mad at me don't yell at me but <laughs> well you can but um yeah I like cold pasta I like cold pizza I like warmed up pizza I like pizza after it's been in the microwave for like um for like a minute where it's still kind of cold but the top is kind of melty that's my favorite 
to time to eat pizza. And speaking of my microwave, oh my god, it is like I used it yesterday and I was like, why is this so gross? It is it is getting out of hand. Part of me is like, should I just throw this microwave away and get a new one so I don't have to clean it? And like I'm not rich by any means. So I I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm like, I could just get a used microwave for like twenty dollars on Kijiji and then I don't have to spend whatever amount of time it's probably going to take like 20 minutes to clean the microwave to be honest but I was like I just get a used one on Kijiji or Facebook marketplace and then I don't have to clean this fucking microwave then I realized that I have to take the microwave to the recycling or like dumpster wherever to like recycle electronics then I have to take it there and I'm like that's even more work so I might as well just clean my freaking microwave and then yesterday I was watching TikTok and they're talking about the one hour cleaning method. And I'm like, what the hell is a one hour cleaning method? And I couldn't find any videos that explained it. And then I finally found one and they're like, literally all you do is you set your, your alarm for an hour and you clean up as much as you can for an hour. But some people were like an hour a day. I'm like, I'm not going to freaking clean an hour a day. Like that is too much cleaning. But I think I'm going to try it out tonight and see how much I get done. Um, and then because, okay, so Clayton, Clayton, my ex-boyfriend slash one of my very good friends now, um, uh, is coming to take care of the cats while I'm in Vancouver next week. And he was like, annoyingly, he was like, can you make sure it's clean when I get there? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, fine. So I have to clean my house before he, he stays. And I'm like, why are you even staying here? Like just because he, he lives out of town now, so I'm like, just stay at your mom's. Like, why do you have to sleep at my place? Um, granted, he we used to live together here, but um, yeah. So I was just like, fine, I'll clean it. So I have to get everything clean. My goal is to have everything clean by Tuesday, by Sunday at 5 p.m. <laughs> I had weeks to do this, but of course I leave it to the last minute. But I need to have everything clean by Sunday at 5 p.m. Because at 6, I'm going to go live on Twitch and do my nails. And I don't want to fuck up my nails while I'm doing them. And look, look at my nails. They literally just break. And then like this one's super pointy. So don't hurt yourself or scratch yourself in the eye. This one's super long. Uh, this one is just like not even. And um, yeah, we won't talk about my nails. And why is it? Why is it that my left hand has all like broken ass nails while my right hand looks fine? Like why? And I'm right-handed, so you would think it'd be the opposite, but whatever. Who am I? Who am I? I'm just a girl with bad nails. Uh, so, yeah, that's my goal. Tomorrow, um, April 1st is my dad's birthday. So, tomorrow, I don't know why we're going so early, but also I won't be here next weekend. So, that could explain it. Um, we're going for birthday lunch to celebrate my dad's birthday. And I... I'm kind of looking forward to it because I really want a Reuben sandwich. Reuben sandwiches are so good. They have sauerkraut in them. If you've never had a Reuben, it's like Montreal smoked meat with, with sauerkraut. And we're going to this place that apparently, like, okay, not apparently because I've had it. But, like, in my opinion, has one of the best Reuben sandwiches in the city. So I'm looking forward to that part. But I'm not looking forward to my parents nagging me, <laughs> literally nagging me uh, about my life. Um... But yeah, so that should be interesting. And then after that, like if I don't go out today, I'll go to Michael's on um, near the restaurant because there's one that's close by the restaurant. So I'll go to Michael's and the post office. Should I just live at the post office? Ugh, I don't know. But yeah, so I have to go and do that shit. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like I should go today though just for my mental health sake. I probably will. Um, and then I can also get Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is delicious. Yeah, just, I love Tim Hortons. But I won't get, oh my god. So on, uh, if you were there on Tuesday, my live, I, before my live, I had drank a Red Eye Tim Hortons iced coffee. And this is like new to them, or it's new to me, but on the board through drive through it said it's new. And it has a shot of espresso in it. Ow, cat. My cat is... Is killing me um he's clawing my leg um but yeah so I, I was like I'll try that red eye coffee like that can't be bad for you or like yeah, that'll be delicious it was it was good it was pretty delicious like it literally just tasted like coffee with creamer in it but then I realized that did I just overdose on coffee because during my life I felt like I was 
dizzy. Like, I literally felt like I was sitting down during my life, but I felt like I was going to pass out or, like, fall over and faint. And um, someone was like, oh, maybe you have caffeine overdose. And I was like, I didn't even think of that. So after my live, I filmed for my Patreon. I did a loft tour of my messy loft for Patreon. Um, and while I was filming that, I, like, was, like, blacking out and, like, standing still. And, like, my breathing was really heavy. I don't know why. But And then I Googled caffeine overdose. And I'm like, I think I overdosed on caffeine from drinking that red eye. And then other people were like, is it because you had it on an empty stomach? I was like, no, I was literally eating a sandwich from Tim Hortons while I was drinking that red eye coffee. So I don't, I don't know what was wrong, but I'm never getting the Tim Hortons red eye ever again because, yeah, it's just, it's not worth it because I felt like I was going to throw up. I felt like really queasy, like I'm going to fall over and, and just faint and then no one will find my body because I'll die. No one will find my body for the longest time. My cats will probably eat my body. And then like, I'm pretty sure that when you die, your body explodes and like you start leaking your guts and stuff. Cause I was watching, <laughs> I was watching this like biohazard cleanup channel. What are they called? They're also on TikTok, but I was watching their YouTubes of them cleaning up, like, murder scenes or death scenes, and, like, bodies, like, explode, like, uh, uh, gross, they explode, and then they, like, go all over, and then your body, like, ugh, the, the fluids leak out, and then they leak through the floor if you've been there for a very long time, so I feel like I'm gonna die and leak through the floor no one will find me. My landlord will be the one to find me because they'll be like, hey, we've noticed Beverly's car hasn't moved. But also that's normal because she rarely ever leaves the house. But he'll be working because I live above a garage. If you didn't know, I live in a loft above a garage. Um, he'll be working in his garage because he's like a motorcycle person. So he'll be working on his vintage motorcycles. And then he'll realize, like, what is that smell? And, um, and then he'll look up and then he'll see my guts leaking through the roof. And then he'll be like, that's strange. Why are, why is there bloody guts le leaking through the roof of the garage? And then he'll be like, he'll ring the doorbell. I won't come to it. And he'll be like, that's weird because her car's here and she's always at home. Why isn't she answering the door? So I won't answer the door. And then eventually he'll probably be like, I'm worried about Beverly. And he'll call me. I won't answer because I'll be dead from my red eye coffee. And then eventually he will get the key because I'm sure he has a key to my place because obviously I live in his building. Um, and he will come in and find my dead body on the floor with the red eye coffee next to me. But also my cats will have eaten me so he won't be able to identify my dead body. So he'll call the police and then the coroner's office will probably, probably have to do like a, what is it called? Uh... A dentist thing where they like take a thing of your jaw of your teeth and then they have to compare it to the dental records or they'll just be like this is Beverly because there's literally blue eyeglasses on where her head used to be so that is what's going to happen if I drink red eye coffee again so if I ever say I'm drinking red eye coffee please note that I will die so please please inform my landlord that uh, he will probably come across my dead body soon um, so yeah, I'm not drinking red eye coffee ever again because uh, it felt so sick. And I say that now, but I feel like in the future, I will probably give it another chance. But this recording will be me stating that I will never drink it again for my own record. So next time, if I want to drink red eye coffee, I'll just watch this recording, this video back and be like, I don't want to leak through the floor. I don't want to leak bodily fluids. I don't want my cats to eat me. Also, do dogs eat their owners? Because you always hear about cats eating their owners, but dogs, I guess they stay loyal till the end and they don't eat their owners. That's what I hear. Have you heard differently? Should I get a dog instead? Just kidding. I love my cats. My cats. My babies. Um, I think I'm done. Oh my god. Was I doing the right symbol this whole time that I was yapping about being dead? <sighs> I don't know. I think so. I think, I think I'm done with this color. Yes, I think, I think I'm done. Okay, let's put this color away and not talk about being dead anymore. How long have I been filming for? 
29 minutes, 29 minutes of me yapping about my dead body. Um, also, if you film videos, like if you're a YouTuber or like whatever, don't move your your tripod stand, like desk stand thing while your phone is on it because your phone will fall off and go on the floor. Because literally, that's what happened to me before filming this video. And I got so sad. I was like, no, I did like a slow motion. No, don't fall off the floor. Don't fall onto the floor. And I realized that I missed that letter right here, that symbol. Should I go back and do it or should I just do it? I'm going to go back and do it. Okay. These, these containers are from Harbor Freight. I freaking love Harbor Freight containers. In Canada, we don't have Harbor Freight. And I have been looking for like, okay, what what places do we have that are similar to Harbor Freight? We have like freaking Canadian Tire, Princess Auto, etc. But like I've never been able to find containers similar to these in Canada. Um, and I have, I think I have two sets of them. Yeah, two sets of them, but the other set... <laughs> Literally, I started Soul of the Rose from Diamond Painting Shop, and I, I'm halfway done it. I do want to finish it, but I just gave up on it, and it's still kitted up in my other Harbor Freight, so technically I only have one Harbor Freight set of containers because the other one is being used. Um, I'm still thinking about finishing it, and I know Summer with the Masters will come up again. I think Katie... Katie might be doing, Katie and Jessica might be doing Summer with the Masters again. I have no idea. I hope that they do because then I'll have a reason to work on that diamond painting. Um, either that or I'm just going to throw it away. Like literally, I'll I'll not finish it, so I'm just going to throw it away. Um, and I feel bad about the plastic. Like if you think about it, diamond painting is like a huge strain on the ecosystem, on the environment. And I, yeah, I won't get into it, but it's just like freaking plastic things, freaking plastic wrap all this stuff and it's just like kind of makes me sad thinking about it so I'm gonna remain ignorant and not think about it anymore but yeah I have just decided if I don't like working on a kit I'm just gonna throw it away because I'll never work on it and who like are there people out there though that would like want a kit that is half done like I don't know I wouldn't want a diamond painting if someone already like did half of it that's just me but I'm sure maybe there's people out there who would who wouldn't mind finishing a kit? If you're one of those people, comment down below and let me know. <sighs> what should I eat today, guys? I, okay, so for the longest time, I I loaded the dishwasher, but I did not turn it on. And there's still dishes in the sink that need to be added to it. So I have no dishes. I've just been eating out or like ordering food all the time for like the past month. I don't know. I don't want to even think about how much money I've spent on ordering food instead of making it at home. But also I find it's very difficult to cook for one person. So like, I don't, I think it's kind of normal. Um, but I don't, I don't know what to eat. So part of me is like, if I go, cause I have to go to the post office this weekend or today and Michael's. Um, but I'm like, if I go to those places, I'll get something to eat. Um, but if I don't go, I will just order something. But I don't know what I feel like ordering. Because tomorrow I'm going to have a Reuben sandwich. Because I was like, oh, maybe I'll eat burgers tonight. Or like pizza. Or like sushi. Oh, maybe I'll get sushi. That sounds delicious. And like, do you ever feel like, okay, I have to go out and get food. But I also have to run errands. And then like you get, I'm already past the point of like wanting food. Like I need food. Or else I'm going to like perish and then yeah I'll I'll go through that whole thing where I die and then my fluids will leak through because I'll be so hungry um I'm already at the past the point where I want to do errands and then grab something neat I need to eat now but if I eat now like if I order food I probably won't leave the house so I don't know what to do I've I've waited too long I should have went and got food before like this whip and chat but I didn't because I'm bad at that and um yeah so now I don't know what to do I'll probably just order food and not leave the house my whole goal though was to leave the house and like get out and like see friends and stuff but also I forgot well I I didn't realize that hey in Vancouver next week I'm seeing like one of my best friends and I'm also going to be seeing people I haven't seen in forever. So that that actually is socializing and getting out. So I'm not asking anyone to hang out with me this weekend because I don't I think I want to spend it like just diamond painting and doing my own thing. 
after my dad's birthday. Um, and then the following week after Vancouver, I've asked someone to go for bubble tea. So hopefully we will go for bubble tea and that can be like the start of me being social. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. It's just sometimes I feel like I like I like spending too much time with myself way too much. Like I I I enjoy being alone, but also like don't get me wrong, I do get lonely at night and like I wish that I had a man that I could snuggle. But um yeah, I know that I've become too comfortable being by myself, so I really need to step out of my comfort zone and make the effort to see my friends in real life. And like Yes, I still talk to people. Like, legit, I talk to my diamond painting friends who've turned into real friends. I still talk to them, like, on a daily basis and stuff. But I just feel like I need more in real life social interaction. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever feel like that? Where you're like, I'm spending too much time with online people. I need real life face-to-face -face interaction. And, oh my goodness, my therapist and I talked about having our next session in person in person that would require me leaving the house i've had two sessions with her so far both have been virtual um so i i was like okay i'm like yeah let's just say next session will be in person blah 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 so i'm i'm excited about it i am kind of nervous because like i i don't know i don't really want to meet her in person because i'm like let me just stay online but i i understand why it's important to meet people on like in real life so I'm kind of looking forward to that, but also nervous, and I should have checked my calendar. I'm just thinking about it now. I should have checked my calendar to make sure I don't have any other meetings, like, close to that time, because literally that would be bad. Um, this whip and chat was about nothing. I apologize, but if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. This is me, like, signing off, because I need to eat something. And I apologize, I did not eat ahead of time where this whip and chat probably would be more interesting. But literally all I talked about was dying because of Tim Hortons coffee. Please don't sue me, Tim Hortons. I know that I wouldn't actually die if I drank your red eye coffee. But yeah, so this is this is this week's whip and chat. I I filmed a lot for Patreon, so I always feel like I film a lot for Patreon, so I always feel like I'm like double saying things doubly. <laughs> double saying things and like repeating stories and stuff um if you do want to join my patreon you can go ahead and do that though i do back behind the scenes videos and like whipping chats but really just me sitting in my car driving i do those videos every week if you join the top tier or you can get a video like that every month this month's video is going to be my loft video and then april's video is going to be my trip to vancouver i think so, yeah, anyways, promoting my Patreon, but also, like, not necessary. Just if you want to join it, join it. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to get something to eat. Whether I leave the house or not, that will be up to me. <laughs> so sad. And I need to try on. Someone told me to try joggers. Like, um, people were like, because I was like, I need to get leggings or jeggings for my trip. Because literally I don't have pants. And then they are like, try joggers. So I ordered joggers. But I haven't tried them on yet. Um, so I'm going to try those on while I wait for food or while I decide what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'll let you know how the jogger thing goes in my live on Tuesday. So anyways, if you made it this far, hit the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And I hope you have a really great weekend. And tell me down below what you're doing this weekend. Do you want to see a video about diamond painting faster and all the things? Just tell me stuff. Okay, bye!